Excuse me. Yes, sir. Do you have anyone named uh, Mulehaven staying here? That's Mulhaven, sir, and yes, I should think that the gentleman is staying here. You seem pretty certain. But of course, sir, Mr. Mulhaven is merely one of our best guests. One moment, sir. Front desk. How are you this evening, Mrs. Hathaway? Yes, of course, I'll have that delivered straight away. Yes, sir. Please deliver a newspaper to Mrs. Hathaway in 7B. And for God's sake, man, button that uniform. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. May I be of further assistance, sir? Is Mr. Mulhaven in now? He is checked in now, if that's what you mean, sir. I believe, however, that he is not presently in his room. So tell me about this Mulhaven fellow. He uh, seems to be a big shot around here. Mr. Mulhaven is an esteemed guest here, sir. He maintains his own suite. He lives here? No, sir, but he travels on business from Chicago frequently. He keeps the same suite reserved. What room is Mr. Mulhaven staying in? I'm afraid I can't divulge that information. And listen, friend. I'm a federal operative on an official investigation. Now, are you going to tell me his room number, or am I going to have to take you up on charges? Charges, sir? What charges? Obstruction of justice, for starters. Very well, then. Charge me with obstruction of justice, if you must. I refuse to violate the trust of the management and the guests of the Hotel Cleveland. Make no mistake, however, I shall certainly complain to both my superiors and yours about your strong-arm tactics. Why ought I take you in? Ah, forget it. This is Mr. Mohan. Oh, sir, I hadn't seen you come in. Are you feeling all right? You don't sound like yourself. <coughs> Never mind how it sounds. Where's my blasted newspaper? It hasn't been delivered. <coughs> no, it hasn't. What's the matter with you people? I'm sorry, sir. I'll have it sent up straight away. Mr. Mulhaven needs a paper delivered to his suite. Weren't you to deliver it earlier? I did. Well, he didn't receive it. Now hop to it. I delivered the paper. Lousy paper. 23. Uh, 23. Mr. Mulhaven. Your paper, sir. Mr. Mulhaven! Lousy cheapskate can't spare a nickel tip. Hello, tiff. Johnny. Rough day. Huh. You said it, Mrs. Graham. Maid service!
Oh, this ought to come in handy if I need to get back in. You said you wouldn't disturb anything. Hans. And we shot, my dear. You said you'd hurry right in and right out. I'll lose my job if anyone finds me here. I wonder what that German's game is. Was wollen Sie? Was wollen Sie?
First he ruins my stakeout at McGinty's, and now we've got two dead men on our hands. Your boy's too green. Pearson is more than capable of fielding this investigation. Oh, and why wasn't my office notified? This complaint falls under COI jurisdiction. This is Pearson's case, and he had every right to be there. That's what you said about Penske. And you know what happened to Wally. He couldn't cut it, so the FBI Don't should... Don't you bring Walt... Jimbo! Uh, how you doing, sport? We'll finish this conversation later. Uh, sorry if I got you in a tight spot, sir. Never you mind about that, son. I'm more than capable of handling that grandstander. I'm making some nice inroads on this investigation, sir. I'm sure you are, son. How are you getting along, Jim? I'm fine, sir. I remember the first time I killed a man. It was during the Great War. I'll never forget his eyes. It can be a nasty business we're in, Mr. Pearson. Yes, sir. What did Winslow mean when he mentioned Mr. Penske's fate? That arrogant... He's got a lot of nerve coming in here telling me how to do my job. Well, never mind about Winslow. One day he'll find out that what goes around comes around. It's Walt you wanted to know about. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Walt stepped on some toes, and when his behavior became uh, a little uh, overzealous, the FBI called in some favors, and poor Walt was put up before the board. They declared that he was suffering from nervous exhaustion. They packed him off to a sanitarium. If I could, sir, I'd... <clears throat> uh, I'd like to see Mr. Penske's case files. I, I believe there's a connection between this case of mine and the matter he was investigating. It troubles me to hear you say that, Mr. Pearson. Walt was asked to step down from a case that had no bearing whatsoever on our national security. He countermanded direct orders by refusing to do so, and all on account of a bunch of superstitious nonsense. What possible connection could there be between his mumbo-jumbo and your investigation? I, I know it sounds like a lot of nonsense to us, sir, but I think this Brotherhood of Thule believes in it. They've organized themselves around it, in fact. Point well taken. Unfortunately, I don't have the Penske files. The FBI confiscated them, claimed that Walt overstepped COI bounds and interfered in their jurisdiction. Hoover's men won that round, I'm afraid. Perhaps if you were to ask Mr. Winslow, he could make them available. Do we have any information on a man named Mulhaven? Mulhaven? What's he got to do with this mess? That's what I'm trying to uncover, sir. Well, there's not an awful lot I can tell you. He's an industrialist from Chicago. He has a few contracts with the War Department. I believe he has some political aspirations. Apart from that, I know very little about the man. Are you aware of any German nationals in town? Well, actually, there is one. A man named Wilhelm von Hess. Our men in Washington have had their eyes on him for a long time now. We have no idea what he's doing in Cleveland. But we're sure as hell he's not in town for the Great Lakes Expo, as he claims. Why don't we just ship him back where he belongs? Now, there's the rub. He's here on a diplomatic mission. Even though our men have long suspected him of spying, we can't deport him without concrete proof, without risking an international incident. And relations between our country and Germany are touchy enough as it is. Well, I think the man that I shot could be connected to Von Hess. Von Hess may even be responsible for Fisher's death, although Detective Marillow doesn't seem to think so. You might be able to pin enough on him there to get him shipped off. If we can make the connection stick, you can be sure that's the first thing we'll do. Do you have any guesses as to where this might have been taken? Looks like your man was caught in a rather compromising position. There's only one place that a businessman of Mulhaven stature would go to, a place called Flanagan's on the east side. How'd you come across that photo? Von Hess has been using it to blackmail Mulhaven. Can you prove that? I believe so, sir. 
Wonderful. That is just what we need to have Von Hess packed off. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, if you could, I'd like you to hold off on that for now. At least until I can find out why Von Hess is blackmailing Mulhaven. Very well, Mr. Pearson. This is your investigation. I'll leave it to your discretion. Thank you, sir. Jimbo! Well, what brings you here, sport? I was hoping you could give me a little information. Uh, well, sure, anything to help a fellow agent. Yeah, run along, candy darling. Mm. Say, uh, I hope you're not still sore at me for this morning. I think you're doing a fine job. We still friends? Yeah, sure, Dick. We're still friends. Great. Just great. Uh, say, uh, can I get you anything? Um, a smoke, perhaps? No, thanks. I don't really like to smoke. Oh, but have you ever tried one of these? They're imported straight from Turkey. Uh, Finest cigarettes I've ever tasted. Have you fellas identified the man I shot? Well, we're still working on that. My best guess is that he was working for the mob. Even though he was carrying an SS-issue gun? Yes, well, we did put an inquiry in with the German consulate. They disavowed all knowledge of him. That's to be expected, isn't it? Well, I suppose so. But Louis did have ties to the mob. It stands to reason that his past might finally catch up to him. Well, Louis hadn't worked for the mob for years. But he was working as a messenger for this German brotherhood. Oh, really? And what brotherhood would that be? An outfit that calls itself the Brotherhood of Thule. That's what I've been investigating. Oh, you don't say. Well, my years of experience with the Bureau tell me that this was a mob hit. But if you really think that there's something to this Brotherhood thing... I do. Well, then Dick Winslow's not the type of man to leave any stone unturned. I'll make sure someone looks into it. Does the Bureau have any information on a man named Mulhaven? Why do you need to know? I think he might be in a fix with some Nazis. Uh, look, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but uh, we've had our eyes on him for some time now. Joseph Mulhaven is the type of man who'll play both sides of the fence until he's certain which side will come out ahead. For the past year, he's been campaigning tirelessly in Chicago on isolationist grounds, but his companies have been secretly gearing up for the war effort. He stands to clean up if America joins the war in Europe. Would playing both sides of the fence include making deals with the Nazis? Yeah, it wouldn't be out of the question. But for all of Mulhaven's sins, he doesn't seem like someone who'd be very likely to sell out to the Nazis. Quite frankly, I don't think he has a stomach for espionage. Do your men know of any German nationals in town? No, aren't Germans more up your alley, sport? We've got nothing to do with that sort of thing anymore. All the same. Well, just between you and me. There is a German diplomat in town by the name of Von Hess. What's his story? Oh, he's a career politician for the German government. My superiors in Washington suspect him of spying, but really, if he were, what would he be doing in Cleveland? I understand the Bureau has Mr. Penske's case files. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have them right here in my safe. Why do you ask? I'd like to get a look at them. Oh, oh, geez, I'm sorry, Jimbo. I can't open them up without a direct order from my superiors. It's completely out of my hands, I'm afraid. Now, if it were up to me, I'd hand them right over to you. There's no way I can get a look at them? If it were only up to me. Oh, there's nothing in there anyway, sport, really. Just a lot of nonsense. He went completely batty there at the end. Not a lot of time to talk right now, sports. Could you come back round again later? Sure thing, Dick.
Bitte enkel, ja? Dick. Sounds like he's busy right now. I can't believe his combination's a football score. Why, I bet he didn't even let her. the Sunnyvale rest home. So that's where they've got Penske. Mm. 
Ini. you been out here, Sport? Uh, uh, not very long. I just got here. You, uh, didn't by any chance hear anything? Okay, no, no, I, I, I didn't hear a thing. Good, good. Say, uh, I am a little busy now. That, that's okay. I'll come back later. That's awful swell of you, Sport. <laughs> 